Hello everyone, Jeff with The Green Review. Today let's talk about a few tips for looking for morel mushrooms. Morel mushrooms are a fungus that grows on the root systems of trees and then it sends up a flower, to, so to speak, a fruiting body, uh, as it's called sometimes on mushrooms, that will uh, release the spores into the forest. And when that happens, then that's the time you can go uh, looking for and collecting morel mushrooms. And we've done that this last week, and we've got an entire plate full here. Now, the best time to go looking for morel mushrooms is in the spring when the redbud trees are blooming. This is the time when the temperatures have reached the 60s in the daytime and 40s and 50s in the nighttime. Uh, the, uh, there are websites that you can use for tracking. The best thing to look for are trees that the morel mushroom uh, has this relationship with. Uh, which can be ash, elm, hickory, maple, pine, sycamore, tulip tree, um, uh, old apple orchards, a lot of different kinds of trees. Now, even though they're found on, a, on the roots of a lot of different kinds of trees, the fruiting body is not necessarily going to come up around those trees at any time or any year, but if it does come up, then it might come up two or three years in a row. Uh, and then it might skip a few years and then it'll come up again. So it's a really hit and miss thing. That's one of the reasons why morel hunters don't leave tips as to where they've been. Uh, when you do find mushrooms, um, you can find, you're looking for a honeycomb uh, or sponge kind of uh, shape. It can be dark brown, uh, light brown. It can be kind of black. There's a lot of different kind of colorings on these mushrooms. Um, they can be from an inch tall to over a foot tall. These are all pretty small. This one is about an inch tall and this one's about four inches tall. Um, when you cut one in half lengthwise, you'll find that it has a single chamber that is not segmented or walled. If you just split it down the middle, you'll see that it's completely hollow on the inside. So that's a, a, a one of the key indicators to see if you have morels. Um, when you're going to harvest it, you just cut it off at the base, right above the soil. And then when you're carrying them back out of the forest, you might want to use uh, a mesh bag uh, from oranges, um, onions, or even laundry um, that have, you know, a mesh that allows the spores to escape back into the forest to uh, get more of them out there. Um, never eat any mushrooms that you don't know the identity and uh, don't eat morel mushrooms raw. You do need to cook them. I'm not going to get into recipes and how to cook them or store them or uh, freeze them or dry them or any of those things. There's plenty of uh, information on those on the internet and uh, you can find those on a lot of different websites and that's uh, beyond the scope of what I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to give you a couple tips on when to find them and where to find them. So go out in the spring when red buds are blooming, walk through the forest and look for the sponge or uh, honeycomb shape. And it can be real difficult to see in the grass or in the underneath the leaves. Um, so it's not an easy thing to find even when they are there. And this has been a Green Review. Thanks for watching.